I'm Zane Kelleher, 28 years old, from Rockhampton, Australia. Now living in Poole in the UK, and I'm a professional speedway rider. Uh, I used to race motocross at national level in Australia. Speedway was all, always fairly big in my hometown in Rockhampton, um, but it disappeared for about 11 years. And then in 2015, a private promoter brought it back. So it was a big, big step to quit motocross and switch over to Speedway, but in hindsight, I haven't looked back. Obviously, Speedway is massive here in Europe. So the UK, Denmark, Sweden and Poland are the four biggest countries. And I knew if I worked hard in Australia, I could get over to the UK and make it a professional career. The thrill of being out in the open and, and riding and not having any other worry in the world. You know, you can come home from a bad day at work or school or whatever it is and jump on your motorbike and just forget about everything. Um, but for me, jumping onto a speedway bike was uh, something like nothing else. They're such a unique bike um, and the thrill you get when it rips your arms off down the straights, just undescribable. So um, it's also worth pointing out speedway bikes have no brakes. So the name of the game is to go as fast as possible. So as a speedway rider, we're basically self-employed and in charge of the whole running of the show. But it's kind of cool because we get to build our speedway bikes up to our own spec. So they're actually built from parts all around the world. And basically we pick and choose which parts we want to use um, to suit our riding style and um, the best parts we think are on the market at the time. Um, so I'm re really involved with my, the building of my bikes and then the the workshop stuff throughout the week. It's, it's a lot of hard work, but it's pretty cool to be in control of every aspect of your racing. So a Speedway bike's actually a pretty high maintenance, high performing motorcycle. Um, although we only race for a couple of minutes on the night show, there's a lot of work during the week in the workshop. Um, you know, your engine's doing 12,000 RPM, so the little primary chain on the front um, cops an absolute abuse. So. You've got to be on top of all those things to make sure your motorcycle's going to perform on the race night. Um, as well as they vibrate a lot too, so things break and crack and, and wear out. So a lot of people say race is the one in the workshop and it's a very important part of the racing program. So when I come back to the UK this year, I had to restock the workshop with new oils and uh, lubricants ready for the season. I've done a bit of research online and come across MPW. The oil I need was Motorex PowerSynt 10W60 and that grade of oil was actually a little bit hard to find um, but I found MPW had it in stock. Um, they offered the best price online as well on their website. It was next day delivery and it was free shipping as well so it worked out good for me. I, got, I restocked my supplies really quickly and really happy to get the product really quick. You know there's no other motorsport where the bikes are so raw and, and so basic and it basically comes down to the rider and machine and, and how well they set it up for the track. But it's important for us when we're lining up to be clear headed and focused on the job. And you know, there's three other guys on the track that all want to win as well. You know, once those tapes fly up, then it's game on and um, trying to get to that first corner as fast as possible and then try to get out in front and uh, secure that win. It, it all happens pretty quick. It's only about a minute, a minute long race. Um, so there's no room for error and um, yeah, it's a pretty cool feeling racing a motorbike at, you know, over 90 mile an hour with no brakes. If you've thought about coming down to Speedway, why not come along? Uh, it's four guys battling it out for four laps, giving it their all on bikes with no brakes, trying to go as fast as possible. A lot of the racing is edge of your seat action, um, so I guarantee you'll be in for a good night.